All right, folks, we are going to head down the trail. And uh, that glare will go away just here in a little bit. Well, you'll have to excuse me again, folks. I just got back from this hike and made dinner. And I am fat and sassy and full. I've got a stopped up nose somewhat. So you might hear me breathing hard, sniffing and grunting, moaning and groaning. Now that's a generator over there. Uh, that little red thing. Just it, I crushed it clearing this path. So this path was a lot of this path was already here. I just made it wider, cleaned it up. Um, that sort of thing. Uh, and then some of it, which I'll show you here in a minute, some of it, uh, you know, I made the full path. Yeah, so if you look to the right, right down that way, that was the original path. It 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 did head right down that way, which I did clear it out and made it a little wider and decided to... Well, hang on. What am I doing? I'm looking backwards and decided to go ahead and just keep it there to the left. So I made all of this. This wasn't here. Yeah, so this is it, folks. So this is one side of our mountain. So we own what we call a mountain. If you live in Montana, it's just a little hill. If you live in Kansas, it's a mountain. And we own, we've got this mountain here. There's one, two, two, three, four houses on it that isn't ours. And they just have like a quarter acre cut out. Uh, and then the TVA uh, uh, owns some of it. That's the Tennessee Valley Authority. And then we own the rest. We own several acres uh, right here. Uh, now this path will eventually be a driveway this will be a switchback i do have to work on it right now it's just a path but we're hoping that one day it'll be another another driveway so we'll see <clears throat> so yeah so we, we we own thousands of feet of road frontage so uh yeah there's three roads that touch our property so this will be another switch back down here, and I'll take all that out to the right to make it doable. I just don't have time to mess with it right now, and that's for sure. I did all I could do, and that's it. This is the steepest part of all of it. That's where we came from. This here is the steepest area. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to do something a little different right here. I don't want this run. It doesn't look that steep on camera. It's steep. I don't want to be running up and down this thing with a vehicle. So I'll go over to the left. I don't know. I got to figure out what to do. I got too many things to do to even be thinking about it. It Right now it's just an excellent, uh, very wide path for us to hike on. And I do hike. I hiked yesterday. Oh, I, I I do love to hike it, especially in the winter. That's for sure. Very pleasant. You can hear the road. It's a very busy road down there on the on the one road. But uh, it it doesn't bother me. So we're coming to another what you would call a switchback. That's where you switch back and go the other way. And uh, as you can see, I've got plenty to work. A plenty of work to to do right here that's for sure so we're gonna dig all that out right there so up and over up and down that's all our property which you can't see the other side and we're just on one side of the property there we go now that's a that's a steep hill believe it or not too steep for me if it was paved, yeah, be okay. Still be a little scary. <clears throat> this here, I will simply just dig out just a little bit here and there and uh, make it doable. So that's a nail in the tree, which is really a no-no. Uh, there's the rooster. 
So well, me and the kids went down through there just nailing up papers that they have drew, that they drew and painted. Uh, one year, last year, actually, all of the grandchildren. There's the turtle. Our walking path. And so some of these trees here have names carved in them. There's Brian. Uh, there's Ike. <laughs> there's MK, I believe. No, GH. That's what it looks like. Them are beech trees, if you're wondering. MK. And so folks used to uh, come up this path here. So they used to park down there at the road and walk up this path. For decades they did this, thinking it was TVA land. There's the raccoon, folks. Oh, there's wild ginger as well. But, uh, you know, they thought it was TVA land and... You know, they would use it lover's path, I guess it would be. And uh, a lot of folks come up there and was doing, they were doing drugs and drinking and just kids partying. For decades, that went on. Well, it slowed way down. We ended up buying the property, and there were still folks coming up, campfires, you know. I don't know what they were doing. People still stop and poop and pee which I understand an emergency is an emergency. I'm not going to say nothing about that. But, uh, yeah, so I had to put up rocks and no trespassing signs. Hated to do it. I really don't care if somebody is, like, hunting mushrooms or something. But uh, you can't get too close to my house or else I'm going to throw a fit. But, uh, yeah, if people were different, it would be different. But but there's so many bad apples. Uh, so many people want to use and abuse. And so it just doesn't work out for me. Doesn't work out for me. So I made this wider as well. <clears throat> we are getting down here to what I call the main road. And it's the only way. It's one of the only ways. Uh, really, there's another road that that you can take if you're on the kind of the uh, 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 other side of town to get back in uh, to the lake area. But this is the main road that they take. Uh, all the houses back in there, it's how folks get in and out. All the marinas. All right, so this area here, I've, I've done a good bit of clearing. And uh, I'm going to take it back. So this the uh, hill, you can see where I've dug out there on the right. You'll, you'll see in just a minute. All right, so we own that across the road over there where I'm pointing all the way up to the top of the mountain. Just that, that side of the mountain, this side of the mountain. And it goes from about right there where my finger was way on down the road. Um... So yeah, all this here will be dug out. It's it's fairly easy digging. It's it's decent dirt, and it will make this a not. It'll be a flat for Tennessee. It won't be flat, but flat for Tennessee. Yeah. So. And what we'll do there, I don't know, uh, but I am going to clear it out. So it's a nice little area, right there at the main road. I could put a carport there or whatever. That's a rock that I dug out with the excavator, kind of chipped it up. If I hadn't have chipped it up, I would keep it. But I demolished it with the excavator. It was buried in the ground. Pawpaw tree. And we've got hundreds upon hundreds that do not produce. Them are all little pawpaw trees that you're looking at. There's a creek down there, folks. A nice flowing creek flows all the way down into the lake. We're going to the lake, folks, headed to the lake. So, uh, <clears throat> so this is, this is my hike. When I say I'm going hiking, going walking, this is what I do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Folks, I eat, uh, chicken soup, homemade chicken soup for dinner, uh, slash bone broth. So I cooked it for about 28 hours, bone and all. So it's kind of got the bone broth. So good for you. I feel so much better. I wasn't feeling real good. I ate that with a, a spinach tortilla. Tortilla made out of spinach. And put spinach in it. 
and ate that with it, and, and, and I feel way better than I did earlier. Anyway, so right here is, you'll see it in a minute, it's the elephant tree to the left. And this is where the path ended. That's what we call the elephant tree. We've got all kinds of stories about that tree. But the path ended at the elephant tree. And look at it. It's an awesome tree, folks. And so that's where it ended. They had done the path right to there. And you'll see, I'll turn around and we'll look at the ground. Now I had this, I cleaned this all up. There was a, just trash here where people would come to the end of the path and party. And so I cleaned all that trash out. And what they would do, there was a little trail. Yeah, all all in here. It was just junk with a campfire and all. So there was a trail, just a little foot trail from right here all the way to the lake. Of course, I made it wider. You know, it's basically almost a driveway. But I just followed the trail to almost the end of the property, and I stopped right before I got to TVA land, probably about 30, 40, 50 or so, eh, 50 or 60 feet from TVA land. Yeah, and so let's see. So this will be dug out a, a little more. Uh, I'll make it look better, make it look cleaner. We'll eventually, I'm going to point to the lake in a minute. Uh, you, you can't really see it on camera, but I can see it standing right here. Uh, yeah, you see all these rocks I dug out? They're awesome rocks, folks. Just lined it up. I got to kind of pull them up a little bit with the excavator. They're kind of sliding down the hill. But I'll eventually put something right there where we just were or down here somewhere. Uh, we'll dig out some more, and I will just simply put a uh, covered porch. It'll be a deck with a screened-in porch and, you know, a roof over it. Shingled roof because of the acorns. We don't want it banging on all, 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 all the time, so... The creek is down there, flows right into the lake. You can see where my rocks and stuff have just fallen. Yep. Anyway, so um, now you can see I'm, I've got some homemade natural steps made out of rock. I put all these rock in here. That way we can walk up this area because this is where I stopped digging because I didn't want to dig too close to the TVA land. This is all pawpaw trees. I, I didn't want to dig too close to the TVA land. I mean, I respect the TVA land. I love the TVA land, and I don't want to harm it in any sort of way. Uh, it's it's for every anybody can use TVA land. You can use it, but you can't abuse it, and so we don't want to abuse it. And so there was a foot trail path all the way to the lake on my property all the way to the lake and you could see where folks would would walk that and of course animals did too so the animals kept it in shape lots of deer track and all that so right here is the where our property stops so it's where our property stops and this all you're looking at here is all of our land all right there to my bottom of my feet I'm standing right on the smack on the property line that's all TVA well it's our land our land goes up and over down to the next road over there now I'm facing my property and everything behind me is TVA land I am standing right on the line All right, now we're on TVA land. And you can see there's just barely a little, barely a little area there. It looks like maybe animals and people both have walked. I know that the folks made the trail because when we first purchased the property long, long decades ago, I would walk down there and there'd be brand new beer bottles, brand new, just tons of stuff, campfires. And then you could see the walking path all the way, all the way down through to the lake. And then, of course, that slacked up and eventually stopped. And then, you know, the animals kept walking it for sure. 
and uh, just kept a little trail there. And so it's a trail I walk all of the time, and so I've got it good and worn, ag worn again, and that uh, where it's very doable. All right, so this tree here is from the storm. This tree was not there. I believe it was Friday, Thursday or Friday, the tree wasn't there. Right there's part of it, and there's where it came from, that right there. Hit, knocked, some of it fell over this way. You can see it's all fresh, and then it just demolished the ground right here. Just tore it all up look at it that thing hit hard folks hard hard so TVA land there's lots of rules uh, on that you have to abide by on the TVA land and uh, there's like you, you, yeah there's you can't put a nail in the tree you can't you know, rope something off. You can't. There's a lot. You can't have anything motorized on it. Uh, on this TVA land right here, this is undeveloped TVA wilderness, and so we, we like to keep it that way. But uh, it, from my, from where the big path stops, I can start walking right there. And walk all the way down to the water in three minutes and that's at a decent pace it's not running or racing that's at just a regular pace that i would walk and it's taking me longer here but i'm going slow i'm stopping i'm looking around but three minutes i can get to a good fishing spot and if you want to get to a good swimming spot you're going to walk for another two minutes so it'll be a five minute walk to a good swimming spot and even better fishing spot now down here there are now now remember the lake is low they dropped the lake of course the hurricane well, water filled it filled it up a good bit but it's it's low it's low and i'll show you where it comes up to a full pool uh but it, it is it is still very low right now yeah Very nice down here. Now we're next to a road, and uh, it, you know it, the road's somewhat busy, but that doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. It's like I feel like I'm in a in Gatlinburg somewhere, a Pigeon Forge. You know, lots of people, lots of cars going by, but it's still like mountainy wilderness mixed in with it. Now you can walk down this way and stand on that rock right there and fish and there folks there's all kinds of fish in here striper uh big mouth and lots of little uh brim and what have you but uh, i usually see three four sometimes seven sometimes ten big stripers in here that's for sure so that rock was a really good fishing spot but it's even better uh, swimming and fishing up over here. I'm going to get on this log right here and just so you can see just a little bit better. And all right, so you can basically see where the water goes up, where, where full, pool, full pool is. Uh, okay, so right there where my finger is, there's rocks and you can jump off of those rocks into the water. Folks, This there's no water right here in the winter. And so you can look and see there's no trees or anything that you could hurt yourself on in the water. And so you can jump off those rocks right into the water. So the, where my finger was is about full pool. All right, so that, that's an animal. That's an animal lives in there. I don't know what animal. But uh, you can see where it goes in and out right there. And, uh, oh, folks, you you talking about stinking? Whew, it stinks in there. Oh, my, it smells like pee. It smells like, oh, sweaty animal pee. All 
All right, so there's a battery right there. A car battery, or marine battery, actually. It was in in the way in the water where my finger is further because there's no, yeah, so. Yep, anyway, folks, that is it. So water recedes, goes way down. It's just a little creek that runs through there in the wintertime. That water goes away. It's just a creek right here.